Howdy, this is Karen from Karen Don Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to add a picture to a post on the Ravelry forums. You have several different ways that you can add a picture to your forum post, but they all start with this button right here that is the image button. So go to a new post reply and then click this image button. Your options are to use an image from the web. So this is where you actually go find an image on a website and then you need to get the website address for the image. So you want to make sure that your ad address ends in an extension that is an image extension, for instance, .jpg. So you will cut and paste that link from wherever you find it into this box and then click insert image and it will add the image to the post. Please be careful in doing this. It is considered to be rather rude to take someone else's picture and post that on, um, on another web page using a direct link like this. Please only do this if it is a picture that you own. So something that you have posted on Flickr, something that you have posted on your own website. So again, don't take uh, images from other people's websites. That's just not very polite internet behavior. But that is something that you can do if you do have an image on the web somewhere uh, that you want to post. Most likely, you're going to be using one of the middle two options. So I'm actually going to skip down here to upload an image from your computer. Now, first of all, in order to do that, this is going to save the image um, basically on Ravelry. And so it takes up a little bit of space on the Ravelry servers. And as a result, um, basically, it, it costs Ravelry a little extra money if a lot of people are using this. And so Ravelry has asked that if you want this option to be able to upload an image from your computer into a forum post, then you need to pay $5 a year for this um, privilege. And honestly, $5 a year, I would pay more than that just to use Ravelry itself. Um, so it seems um, pretty easy to do that just for an entire year, $5 to be able to upload images from your computer onto a forum. But um, I'm not showing you how to do that because I've already paid, so I can't, act, I don't have that option. But if you have not paid that yet, when you click this link, it will tell you that and give you directions for how to pay your $5 and get the ability to upload an image from your computer to a forum post. You can upload an image from your computer to a project or a stash entry for free but this is just for forum posts. Okay, so let's click this, upload an image from your computer, and it's now going to give you this option to select a photo. So you need to choose file, and then go on your um, computer, and we're going to go into this folder called Knitting Humor, and find the image that you want to post. So let's say I want to post this one right here. So click that image and then click open. And it will add right here, the basically the name of the image. Do not make any changes to that. Go over here and click add this image. And it's going to upload to Ravelry and then it will give you a preview of the photo. This is just for you to double check. Yes, this is indeed the photo that I want to use. So go ahead and click use this photo. If this is actually not the image you thought it was, click cancel and go back, try again to find the correct image. But this is the correct image, so we're going to say use this photo. Now notice what it pops up here. It doesn't look like it actually put in a photo, but this is code. So this is the way the Ravelry knows where this photo is. So this little one right here tells Ravelry where this photo has been stored. Do not make any changes to any of this code or else it will not post the photo correctly. If we go down here to post reply, then you can see none of that code shows up. It actually posts the picture itself. 
So again, don't change the code. Don't worry that you're not seeing the picture when you're typing the post. It will be there when you post your reply. So to show you that another way of checking that out, we're going to again, click insert image, upload from your computer, choose your file. Now we're going to do this one, click open, add this image, give it time to upload, say yes, use this photo. And again, it's going to give you all of the code before you post your reply. If you want to check to make sure everything looks okay, you can click up here to show the preview. So if I click the preview, now I can see there's the picture. So you can compare the code to what is actually going to be seen once you post it, the picture. So you can, you can click, if I go back to the preview, it says click anywhere to close this preview. So you can click the X, but you don't have to. You can just click anywhere and that will go away. And then you can post your reply. So that is how you upload directly from your computer. What happens if you would like to uh, post something, a picture you've already put into one of your projects or your stash entries? Then you want to use this option, use a project or stash photo. So click this and this will now pull up, um, Right now I've got it listed under everything, but it will uh, pull up all of the pictures that you have used in your uh, projects and in your stashes. So right here it shows everything and you can actually narrow it down to projects or stash. So let's say I just want to see my projects. I don't wanna see any of the stash, so I can, collect, I can click that. It's going to put the pictures in order of newest first and oldest last, you can actually see here, you can go to older photos. So if I click that, it'll take me to my next section of photos and I can keep going. And I have a lot of projects, so I have a lot of photos here. Um, and you can, if you say, oh, no, wait, it was back here. You can click this link and go back. So you could scroll through and try to find where your picture was. But especially if you have a lot of pictures, that might not be the best way to find a photo you can actually go up here and search. So let's say I saw that I have my Wonder Woman wrap pictures. So I click Wonder Woman. So this is a project. You wanna click the title of your project and click search. And now it will show me just the pictures that show up under any projects that have the words Wonder Woman in them. So that's a good way if you have a lot of pictures to help narrow it down so you don't have to scroll through all of them. So when you find the picture that you want, go ahead and click on it. So I'm going to use this one. I click on that and it's going to open up that picture to just give you an extra moment to say yes, that is indeed the picture I want. And then you click use this photo. Once again, it's going to give you some code. Don't do anything to change the code. Just go ahead and click post reply. You can preview if you want to make sure, but post reply and there is the picture. The nice thing about doing it this way is Ravelry has now made a connection between the picture you've just posted and where this picture came from. So the project page for this picture. So if I put my mouse on the picture and click, it will actually open up the project where this picture came from. So this is a really handy way to add a picture and also be able to share the information about the project. So this is my project page um, for that particular picture. So by adding a picture, let me refresh to show everything. By adding a picture using that option, and again, I'll show you the option, using the option, use a project or stash photo, you are creating that connection between the picture and that project entry. You can also upload an image by email. Um, basically what that means you want to do when you click that, it will give you an email address. So it'll be your username and then photos.ravelry.com. So then you go into your email account, attach a photo, um, email to this email address 
And when Ravelry receives that email, see how it says waiting for an email to arrive, then it will have that photo up here for you to choose. I'm not actually doing that um, in this tutorial, but it is something that is an option if you want to play around with it. I mostly use, I'm gonna click cancel. I mostly use um, these middle two options because they really are the ones that seem to be most handy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Ravelry. I am Karen Dawn. Thanks and happy knitting.